Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? It's Azerburst here with another video for you all. Today we're going to be playing some Sonic World DX. Oh yes, this is one of those games that I've really wanted to showcase for a while since its release, which wasn't too long ago. This was Sage 2020, I think. So, okay. We get three characters in this game and we get, I think, eight stages. Eight stages? I think eight stages. Um, and we get to, you know, play the game as we wish with the three characters. We get Sonic, Tails, and Shadow. Alright, and we're going to use all three in one stage. And we're going to see how much time that takes. And depending on how much time we have left, I may or may not go to a mock speed section stage just to show it. Because the stages that they give you in the game don't really have one, I don't think. Um... And if we don't have enough time, I'll just end it with those three stages, and then, you know, we'll be okay. All will be right with the world. So, first we're going to start off with Tails, because I don't really like him, so we're going to get him out of the way. So, yeah, you start off with eight stages in the game. So, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The first two rows here are the only stage that you get, all right? Um, all these extra stages are actually modded stages that were... Um, just built into this game they were taken from Sonic World release 9 and just tweaked in tiny little ways that let you know new characters be in the game and all that that let um you know all that stuff happen so these are modded stages okay which these these stages can all be found on the Sonic World official website same as the game everything is gonna be in the description below um, and it's easier for me because all of these stages are actually mods that are on the website itself So all I got to do is link you guys to the website and you can get everything you want there The website will let you get any of the Sonic World releases Sonic World DX The first DX version to ever come out the stage 2020 version of DX and Sonic World the regular one release 1 through 9 so you guys will be able to do everything and anything you need to do with that website regarding this game so that'll be linked in the description below and yes it's official don't even try to say i won't i'll send you to somewhere you're not supposed to be sent to so um we're gonna go ahead and throw tails into the love garden because well green hill is a pretty basic stage i hate green hill with all my heart well we could throw tails in the emerald coast we can do that actually yeah we could throw, we could throw tails in the emerald coast i don't see a problem with that so, just as Sonic Heroes is, this game is built upon teams, and when the game is completed, um, you know, you'll be able to use multiple characters, you'll be able to use team characters. So, yeah, I figured it would be. So, this is actually Station Square, without the water for some reason. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, it's right behind the level, because that's kind of where it is in the game. <laughs> and it's, that's pretty cool. Um, it was like this in the old version, too, so, in the old version, like, um, I'm pretty sure Sonic World DX, not DX, um, Sonic World Release 9 had Emerald Coast, and the same thing is pretty much here, so, there we go. Alright, so yeah, this is pretty okay. Alright, so, um, that's what I was saying. Sonic World, just like Sonic World, the original version, the game is based upon three categories. The Fly category, the Speed category, and the Power category. Um, you play Sonic Heroes, you know what each you know respective category does. One punches, one flies, and the other one runs really fast. Shadow seems to be on the Power category this time around, though, only because he seems to have punching. He has the ability to punch people now, and... Um, um, I think that's pretty much it. He has speed. He's almost as fast as Sonic in the game, I'm pretty sure. But, um, I think he, he, I think he's more of a power character now, which is why we started with those three characters. But we'll see what happens. Um, we'll see what they'll do. Maybe for now he's like that, just so we can have our three different, like, characters. But Shadow doesn't have a light dash, and Sonic does. And Shadow actually always had a light dash in almost every game that he was ever in, so... I like how the Tails' little spin kick thing is identical to the way it looked in Sonic, um, Sonic, um, yeah, Sonic DX. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 1, if you will, since there are a lot of DXs now. 
All right. So Emerald Coast in this game is pretty much the same. No real different alternating paths like you would normally expect. So, because in Sonic World there are a lot of, you know, stages that are made to represent the original. Like Crisis City, that's a fun stage that everyone knows about in that game. Oh, and, and, and Final Rush, that's another stage that they know. So, those stages are, those stages are like very different than their original versions, so... Um, Emerald Coast isn't really like that though. It's pretty much the same thing, just with props and different things added and whatnot, just to make the game workable. Um, but yeah, this game is pretty. It's pretty, pretty okay. I'm liking it so far. I haven't really ever played the game yet. Really, I played the original Sonic World, but I haven't given DX that much of a try. But most of the, you know, most of the gameplays are similar. There are a lot of different tweaks though, just by playing the game and moving around. The game is very different. I don't even know what the hell this is. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> they got the little things from, um, you know, when you step on them, you press A. It can also be represented by Unleashed too. They had certain things like that where they would show up a button and you'd have to press the button. But in this case, you don't have to press a button. Yes, Tails' flight is pretty powerful i'm not gonna lie to you okay yeah you gotta work on that victory animation you gotta work on that i got a d jesus lord <laughs> oh but yeah that victory animation needs to be worked on i guess the game didn't like me dissing tails is victory animation um i got an emblem guys all right, so we're going to go in and run in as Sonic now, and we're going to go in and play some stages because I want to throw him into Kingdom Valley, actually, because that is one of the stages here. For now, don't worry about the stages down here. I'm not going to throw him into any of the modded stages because these stages are taken from Sonic World Release 9, which, you know, which means those stages are built for that older version of the game and all of those new gimmicks that are in this game the new enemies the little the the, the sonic dx reference thing the little pass that you jump on press the jump button to jump up and down those things won't be there so i won't be showcasing these stages in this video if you want me to showcase the many stages that are here because it all came in like one big pack if you want me to showcase any of these stages, just do so in the comments. Just say, I want to see this stage, and I'll make probably make a video showcasing a bunch of different stages at once. Just a video for that. But um, for now, though, I want to focus on you know the four, the eight stages that the game gives you so that I'm playing the exact game. Because for any random person that will you know get the game and download it just playing, the bottom stages here won't be there. So I'm not going to go ahead and play stages that the average person wouldn't have without, you know, consulting different types of categories in the website and downloading mods. All right, so with enough of that said, we're going to throw Sonic in the Kingdom Valley. And the only reason why I'm using Shadow Last is because he's my favorite character. Most people know that already. And I want to save the best for last. In my personal opinion, I just like Shadow more than both of these people. So, my fault. Technical difficulties. Anyway, so look, Sonic has um all of his signature moves. He has his little light dash. He has a pretty unique animation. He has a good running animation. All of his animations are pretty good. Um, yeah, they do tricks off homing attacks now. So it's not just homing attack, spin around, homing attack, spin around. Um, Sonic still has a spin kick, which pretty much functions the same way it did in the original. And Sonic has his regular spin kick as well. The wind grinding isn't a thing in this version yet. Ooh, that was pretty clean. All right, so yeah, Sonic is pretty good. In terms of gameplay, he plays the same as he normally does. You know, you run fast, you homing attack, you have a spin kick or whatever. But the animations, the extra animations that they give you makes it just look a lot more fluid and that much I can appreciate. All right, uh, we're gonna go up here this time around. Hey, we don't need that spring. Um. I think this is where we're supposed to go. Ow! I knew that was going to fall on me. I just didn't think I'd be able to get through that. Alright. Wall running. Okay, I wanted that. Oh! Okay, cool. Light dash over that. 
Um, there's a red ring. I got that red ring already, though. Yeah, I, I definitely... Oh, yeah, I forgot it's right here. I did play Kingdom Valley once just to test out the game, but I didn't play any other levels. I only used Sonic, so that's why this was pretty fast. Yeah. So, yeah, obviously I played Kingdom Valley. I wasn't about to download the game and not, you know, give it a little test run first to see if everything works right with my downloading. All right, and finally we get to run around as Shadow, the character I actually never used. So I can't wait to see how this turns out. Um, I only used Sonic in Kingdom Valley once just to um, have fun and see how the game works, see if it's similar to Sonic World R9, which pretty much is. The game is just, you know, the game is just better, <laughs> but the gameplay isn't very different. It's like, it's like Sonic Unleashed to Sonic Generations. They're different, but not too different. It's the same kind of formula. So, um, we're going to go ahead and run into Shadow, and we're going to throw him into Hang Castle, because, come on now. Let's do it. And, actually, this file isn't my own file, so that's why I have red rings in certain areas that I'm not supposed to have it at. Um, I actually downloaded the save file off someone. What the hell is Encore? I'll try that on... Yeah, I'll, I'll try that. I'll try that. But... Alright. So to start off, I like the music. Shadow's animations are crisp. Damn. Crispy, crispy. Most of them do, though, seem to be taken from Sonic Generations, but that's fine. They do seem to be revised, though, because it looks more fluid. Because in Sonic World R9, there was a, um, the, the, what the hell? I can't move. But what, what? I'm lost. I literally was stuck there, and I couldn't move. Okay, whatever though. Shadow does not have the light dash, so that's why I was assuming he was a power character. And he also has the ability to punch people to death, which he could technically do that in his own game too. But I mean, I don't know. The, I, <laughs> the idea of Shadow using his hands in a Sonic game just isn't right to me. Because Shadow is really meant to, um, oh, okay, thank God. Oh, I didn't even know you got homing attack. Oh, you probably only can once. So now I won't be able to do any more until I... Okay. Well, lucky for me... Um... Find the switch. Oh, found it. <laughs> that one hard. I did see that when I was... Before I even landed. I didn't know what it was, though. Okay. Uh... You can drift. So that's pretty cool. I didn't even drift with Sonic because Kingdom Valley isn't really a stage that permits drifting. But there goes Shadow's Drift. I'm guessing Sonic's Drift is that Sonic Unleashed Drift where, you know, you're running, but, like, walking at the same time. I kind of like that drift, actually. Nah, but this is really good. The game feels, just looks a lot more fluid with the fact that you're actually, um, like, off homing attacks. There's actually some animations off there. Ooh! Okay, so those are, new, those are some new robots, obviously. Those weren't in any of the other Sonic World games. And they take... They take a certain amount of hits before you can, like, take them down. One thing that I would suggest to the um, Sonic World people, creators, if, if you're going to do something like that where certain robots have multiple hits before they're dead, um, I suggest you want to add health bars, kind of like they did in 06 and in Heroes. Only because if you're going to give them multiple hits, it'd be, it'd be right just to know, like... You know how many hits it's gonna take and for certain moves like shadows chaos sphere maybe knuckles punches because you know those things are a lot stronger than your average homing attack Ooh, i like this okay um but yeah of uh, certain moves like chaos spear you know the punches maybe silver psychokinetic abilities and all those could do more damage than you know your regular homing attack yeah it, it would just open you know the path to many possibilities something that health bars would do so i suggest that as one thing um okay these must be the invisible you know <laughs> the invisible things okay 
Oh, another Batwing. Okay, I'm a little worried. So we're just gonna spin dash, Chaos Spear, and then land. Oh, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, okay, that was kind of scary. And of course, I saw it and I still homing attacked it. That was my fault. Okay, I am not to be fooled. This is a not, this is not a, um, oh, okay, that's meant for light dash, something that Shadow doesn't have. You see the problem here? <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, I see the arrows up there, so I'm gonna try to. Okay, kind of got it. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm not really like staying on topic when I'm talking about. I'm really trying to concentrate here, because the further in the stage you get, hold on. Ooh, chaos control. Because I just saw those buttons there for the longest. I did not press them, and I'm sure Sonic has something like that too. I just did not notice until just now. Okay, let's just kill these enemies here. One, two, three, four. Chaos Spear. There we go. So it takes five hits to kill those things. But you see, you could at least put a number on how many hits they need or something like that. Or some type of health bar to let people know. Ooh, this is the spider web. Do any of y'all remember that? I wonder what's over there. Oh, they're, they're all different. They're all different. And just well, Let's go to this one, then. Alright, where are we at? Um, we're, we're somewhere. Alright. I'm a little worried, because I don't want to die now. Because, like, we've been at this level for a pretty decently long time. So, I don't want to die and just lose all my score points. Okay. I don't know if this is the end of the level yet. And I also have Chaos Boost. Oh. Alright. And Shadow's Victory animation is pretty cool. Sonic's is the best one, though. The most fluid looking one, if anything. Alright, I got my ass rank of Shadow. That's all, I'm, uh, all I needed. I'm set. I'm set. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, that stage took a lot longer than I thought it would, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and end things off here. I was thinking of throwing a character into the Kingdom Waterfalls level here, down here, just to showcase the mock speed sections, but um, no need for all that. Well, if you want me to play this game more and play some of these extra stages, you guys can just let me know in the comments below, and I'll make sure to do so. And yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. This game is great. Really give it a shot for yourself. Um, all these extra stages are also obtainable on the mods portion of the website. That's linked in the description below. And there's also a tutorial and instructions on how to set things up there. So you really don't have anything to worry about. And thank you all for watching. Definitely give this game a try. Um, even the regular Sonic World is worth taking a look at as well. Only because the regular version has plenty more stages than what we saw here so really give that a shot and um yeah so thank you all for watching have a good day and um catch you in the next video